and that was the last time I saw Aiden. I completely lost it with, without realizing that that was the last time I would see him. How would you describe your relationship with your brother before you found out? Just say the words. I'm trying. I'm sorry, okay? There's nothing that you can do to make things better. Mum took me to football um, <laughs> match and never missed the game. <laughs> What's you laughing about? Something. I'm doing my best. Do it yourself. You can do it better. <laughs> Stop filming me. I'm done with this. Whoa. Read it. Whoa. <laughs> what are you doing? Come on, put your record down. Basically, what you need to do is, you point that foot towards that pole over there, the other foot parallel to the line, come on, do it. So, that foot to the pole, the other one parallel to the line, that's it. Okay, yeah. Now you bounce the ball two, three times, then you open your arms, and you hit it. I think you know how bad you are. Thanks, Danny. I'm joking! Well, not really, but you know, you were definitely not born to play tennis and that's fine. Well, what do you think was gonna happen with that kid's racket he gave me? It wasn't a kid's size, it was a normal size. But, never mind, let's go home, shall we? I'll make an apple crumble just for you! Shut up. <laughs> so tell me, Danny, what happened next? How did you find out? You know, I... I hadn't seen him since since I left for university. Feeling better today? I, I could see his his lips trembling and, and sense his fear and apprehension. He he couldn't look me in the eyes. It was our sister who who told me what was wrong, and, and as she spoke, um, her voice was not as loud as as it normally was. She spoke quite quietly and. She was trembling. Aiden has cancer, she said. Confirming what I thought all along. She said he was undergoing treatment and the doctors were, were optimistic about his chances. Um, I didn't know what to say. I, I just went back into, into the room, hugged Aiden tightly and, and just said that everything would be fine. You don't want any more treatment. I can't do it anymore. I just want it to be over. Are you out of your mind, Aiden? Why are you giving up now? It just doesn't make any sense. That's a stupid decision. Think of all the promises you've done. Think of all the promises you will make. All you need to do is just ignore and change your bloody attitude. It's not about me. It's not about me and Daddy. Next day I went back to uni. The day after I found out it was just too late. Okay, I think we should leave it there. But I
beside you like the rain misses the clouds and i miss you i don't want to miss you but i do like the rain misses the clouds but i guess you're up there 